This video is how to install Ansible on a MacBook, Mac Pro, anything running OS X or Mac OS. This is really applicable to Sierra and or El Capitan. It's also possible to install Ansible on older releases of OS X. The first thing you want to do is get Xtools onto your Mac. If you're a developer, you probably already have it. For that, we go to the App Store. So go to the App Store and you want to search for Xcode. And once you find Xcode, you simply want to install it. So on this system, it's already installed. We could open it, but on yours, if it's not there, go ahead and install it. This might take 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour. It could take an hour. Depends on how fast your Mac is and your internet connection and things like that. Okay, so once Xcode is installed, you want to bring up a terminal prompt. Here's the terminal prompt, and you want to basically become root. So you want to say sudo uh, su to become root, put in your password, and there you are. So basically, Xcode needs you to accept a license agreement. So try and run the GCC compiler. If the compiler runs, that means you've accepted the license for Xcode before. If you type in the compiler and it asks for a licensing, question to accept the license, go ahead and accept the license by reviewing it and then uh, typing the word accept. And that will get you into a, uh, an Xcode um, operable environment. Okay, now Python is what Ansible runs on. So make sure you have Python installed. Type in the Python command and you'll see, yes, indeed, we have Python installed on this system. Hit control D to get out of Python. So we know Python's on here. The next thing we're going to need is to put pip on here. And so for pip, we can use easy install. And type in pip. This is a Python um, interface program. Probably stands for something else. But this program is like yum is for uh, Red Hat or app get is for Debian or Ubuntu or even a, even a uh, Raspberry Pi. So here, I already have pip on here, so it didn't do a whole lot. But basically, you'll want to ex execute that command and uh, make sure that pip is on here. Once pip is on, you want to then invoke pip to install Ansible. So there's pip install Ansible. I already have it on here, so it just said uh, it's already here. If you want to upgrade it, go ahead and upgrade it. Yours will be a lot longer. You'll see delimiting bars. And at the very bottom here, um, you want to make sure that if there's any red here, there, there can't be any red. So make sure there's no red. And if there is red, you might want to run the GCC command, which would then cause Xcode to do the license accept. And once you have a license accept with Xcode and all the Xcode tools run, then run this command again and you should see it install and that would be it. You'll have Ansible. How do we test if Ansible is installed? Just type in the command Ansible. There it is. Or type in Ansible playbook. There it is. So congratulations. Now at the bottom we it says we need a playbook. So in the next video we'll make a playbook to test if packages are installed on, on say, Red Hat or Ubuntu. Okay, well, thanks for uh, coming along, and welcome to Ansible. You'll find it's really useful if you're in DevOps, and it's a lot of fun. Take care. Have a great day.